Hey, welcome back. So a couple years ago, I created a video on what the experience is like when you remote wipe a Intel-based Mac computer using Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Well, I wanted to create a new video to show you that same experience, but with Apple Silicon-based Mac computers like the M1 or M2 processor. So let's jump into a demo and we can see what I'm talking about. Okay, the first step is let's go ahead and get the Mac enrolled into Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So I'm gonna do this, the self-enrollment uh, manual method, if you will, where I download Company Portal and I go through the self-enrollment. You can see me going through that process here on the screen. So let's go ahead and get this enrolled. Okay, now that it's enrolled, let's open up Microsoft Endpoint Manager and let's start going through issuing that command to do the remote wipe. At endpoint.microsoft.com, we're inside Microsoft Endpoint Manager. We're gonna click on Devices, and then we're gonna filter on uh, Mac OS devices. Here's my Mac, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and click on Erase. Now, this is really important. This is warning me that if the computer does not have a T2 security chip, then you have to type in this pin that you set here in order to reinstall the OS. Now, because this is Apple-based silicon and uh, it does have a T2 security chip, then this actually doesn't matter. Okay, now we're on the camera. I apologize for the autofocus issue, but I went ahead and issued the command and boom, there you have it. It automatically rebooted without telling the end user. After all, this thing is lost or stolen. It's gonna reboot, it's gonna go through post, and in just a moment, it's gonna be restored to factory defaults and it will be sitting at the choose your language, choose your region screen. Now, there's something I really need to mention here that I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. I already removed the activation lock on this device because when it's associated with an Apple ID, you have activation lock. So if this was really lost or stolen, of course you would want to keep that act activation lock active. If you're trying to recycle the device, obviously remove the activation lock by deassociating with the Apple ID. And you know Apple's got some tools for, for that, like Apple Business Manager. And here we're sitting at the welcome screen. So it's set to factory defaults and the corporate data has been uh, erased and I'm ready to go about the rest of my day. This is really cool. Okay, well that wraps up today's video. Pretty straightforward. Now in the real world, you would also be using Apple Business Manager. And so you'd wanna make sure that you also follow that process. And then if you are using Jamf, don't forget there is an integration for compliance scoring and with conditional access with Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So, so be sure to check that out. Okay, well, hey, if you found value in this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you wanna follow me for additional videos, click subscribe because that does help me out. And let me know in the comments down below, have you used this capability? Uh, do you like it, do you not like it? And is there anything else that maybe I should demo here on the channel? All right, well, hey, stay secure and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.